Welcome back to Season 3 of the Highlanders' career. It is 2016. Welcome back to the club. Let's check out the signings for the upcoming Super Rugby season with the Highlanders and who has joined our team as we look to the three-peat of Super Rugby champions, the two-time defending champions, the Highlanders, are about to announce their squad. But before we get through to that, let's firstly say goodbye to a few names who will be departing us this season. First off, it'll be Big Brad Thorne who we say goodbye to. The 40-year-old man is saying goodbye to rugby at the end of 2015, he has departed us, a two-time Super Rugby champion, and will retire from that final. Other players who have become off contract and have been let go by the Highlanders are as follows. Tanaka, Dixon, Gonover, O'Brien, Kitschoff, West, and of course, last but not least, is Thorne, the retiree. The others have been released either from their contract or due to expiry from their contract. So, with those guys bidding a fond farewell, and they were great servants throughout the seasons as well, let's take a look at who we have to look forward to seeing in a Highlanders jumper for 2016. Once again, the teams are lined up in order of position. So we start here with the forwards. And starting off with the props, of course, Ben Alexander is still sticking around. Take no notice of where the captain and kicking options are. It's just default. Set them at the top. Get them out of the way. So that stuff will all be decided at a later date. Or even today, we might get into that. But Alexander, he's sticking around. He's still in the team. John Alfoa has re-signed. And he will be with us for a further few years. John Alfoa. His, he was a big part of our last two seasons, so we've kept him around for a few years. Two years, in fact, on top of where he's already been. So we've got him for a couple more years, which is great. We get our first new signing of the season. It is Jeffrey Tumanga Allen, the big tight head prop, has joined us for two years, and he is on $80,000 a season. A good young player, a very strong player, and really just makes... Our front row is just massive youth, experience, and extreme strength too in those positions. Like they all say, the game is won and lost in the type 5, so that is a big part of where we're heading for the future. So Tumanga Allen joins us. He is a great addition. You may notice already that we have quite a lot, well all of our props can play on the tight head side, but only one on the loose head. But I wouldn't take too much Notice that a lot of the props are adaptable and will be able to play on both sides of the scrum, especially the next man on the signings list. It is Ben Afiaki. Now, he has joined us for two years and is also on $80,000 a season. Again, he is a bit older, experienced, much more so than Tumanga Allen or Tami Afuna, for instance. But when you have the likes of Afiaki, Afoa, and Alexander in the team, it is extremely experienced front row candidates, and he is a great addition to the side. We still, of course, have Ben Tamiafuna in the team, his contract's still going, and he is oh, a great young prospect. Into the hookers now, and that's our first signing in the hooking department. It is Stephen Moore, the Australian captain, and he has joined us for two seasons, also on $80,000. So a lot of these guys happy with the same amount of money. I'm sure if they knew what each other were on, they might think a bit differently. But Stephen Moore, a very experienced, a very oh, very strong campaigner, that's for sure, and will add some more experience and muscle to this front row. How good of an asset will he be to the Highlanders in 2016? Next, we have a youngster who is just brimming with potential. It's Motu Matu'u. From, of course, the Hurricanes, the hooker, he is an extreme talent. I love this young man. He is a great player who could be something massive in the future. Of course, these players are all suggested by you guys. This guy was fairly popular, getting quite a few requests to join in. And we have joined Mat Motu, Matu'u to the team. He has joined us for four years. 
And being such a young player, he is also on $80,000 a season. So it's great to have him. He's a real punishing defender as well. You can see his tackle skill is pretty big. We keep along with the hookers. Liam Coltman still running on his contract. And we have, of course, Braden Mitchell. Now the reason, I know a lot of you will think this straight away, four hookers is a bit too much. But when you have the likes of Coltman and Mitchell on almost nothing as far as salary goes, they're only on about 20000 each. Now when you take into consideration these guys who've just signed for 80000 that's relatively cheap when your star players are on high 200s uh, it, it does not compare and for the sake of getting rid of a player like Mitchell or Coltman it would have absolutely made no difference because we wouldn't have got anyone else in their place so based on his performance in the final last year Raider Mitchell keeps his spot in the squad into the second row now and we start things off with the big brutal Brody Ritalik still in the team of course on contract and he's sticking around for another season. Joining him, second row buddies, is Eben Beath. One of the best second rows in world rugby. There's no question about that. It's a beef, such a young, dominant, real second row player. He's a jumper and he does his cool roles, roles very well. And, well, Ritalik and Itza Beef. There's not too many that are better. Of course, we needed another lock with the retirements of Brad Thorne. So we have got just the one kind of would have liked two but not too many suggestions for locks and seeing as last season we didn't need any in addition to Ritalik and it's a beef one should do and it's Hugh Pyle the Australian from the Rebels of course fairly popular choice amongst the viewers as well he is adaptable can play on both the four and five locking duties so he has joined us from the other side of the ditch. He is just on a one-year contract, see how he goes, and is on 95000 a season. Into the back row now, and we kick things off with the adaptable man. It's Ben Mowen, still on the team, but he also covers as that fourth lock, like he did last year, and he should be a valuable asset playing in those two roles. Stefan Armitage, still on the team, and he was a key figure last season, was the open side flanker. Chris Robshaw continues his role here. His contract's running a bit short and the years don't seem to be getting as long for Chris anymore. And, well, how will he go this season? Will we see him for too much longer at the Highlanders? Who knows? Toby Felletow, the Welsh number eight, has joined the Highlanders this season. Another very popular choice from you guys to join the Highlanders team. He has joined us for four-year contract, and he is on 85,000. So we've got quite a, a lot of forwards here, and quite a lot of young forwards and cheek forwards as well. Falatel will just add that dimension that Nasi Manu adds to the team already, and it just gives us more explosive number eight power off the back of our scrum. And of course, speaking of Nasi Manu, he's still sticking around, and he will really have to battle it out with Toby Falatel for that number eight jumper. Into the scrum halves now, and it is much the same. Francois Hogard will take one of those spots, and Aaron Smith has re-signed to take the other. So it's good to have Aaron Smith back. He has got fairly expensive, I have to admit. His salary has gone up about 60,000. It is up to 220,000 now, but a key man like Aaron Smith, do you argue with him? And how can you not extend his contract? Into the fly halves now, and Lima Sopawanga has kept his spot. He did very well as the backup. Sexton is really very much on the outer at the moment with such talented young fly halves. And the team Lima Sopawanga is still about, as is Jonathan Sexton, who is really having to battle for a jersey of any kind in this Highlanders jumper. And, of course, we cannot forget about Robbie Robinson, former man of the end of last season until cruel, cruel injury took away his chance of glory in the grand final. He is back again for 2016, and he will be a key man. Surely, if he can keep that form up, probably we'll see him in our first preseason match, starting with that number 10 jumper. Into the centres now, we kick things off with Sonny Bill Williams, still sticking around, one of the marquee names in this Highlanders team. It's still good to have Sonny Bill there. Such a quality, quality player. 
Malachi Fikatoa partners him. He is an outside centre and he is a real prodigy son from, well, with immense potential. Wesley Fofana, he's on a fairly cheap wage, so a bit reluctant to get rid of him while he's still so cheap. Will he be a force in this team? Who knows? We'll have to see how injuries treat us for this season. Rennie Ranger didn't see much field time last year, but could be a real bolter in the squad. There's some big talent in this back line. Will we see him come to his own this year? Of course, Sherwin Stowers ran out of contract last year, but he is back and he is better than ever. His, his salary has also increased quite a bit, just about doubling as he went up to $80,000 as well. But we've got him for another few seasons, which being man of the year for the last two years running is a huge, huge boost to have him re-sign. Patrick Osborne still has some years to run on his contract and he has been a player who has definitely improved over the last year and could be in the running for one of those winger roles. Gilles Kaka, of course, lucky to even be in the team last year. He really come on leaps and bounds and proved to be one of the real differences as we ran through the season. He has re-signed with us, a fairly cheap player once again, only on 45,000. Cannot complain of that. He is oh, great to have around another good running back. Christian Wade still sticks around, another fan favorite there. He is gonna fight out for those winger spots. He has some competition. Ben Smith, probably be the captain again for the upcoming season. The real Otago man, he's been with the team forever and he will be a Highlander at heart, down true and true. He will captain the side, no question, and it's great to still have Ben Smith in the Highlanders numbers. Marquee signing for 2016, Israel Folau. Once I saw him on the list, I had a funny feeling that people were going to go nuts at the chance of having Israel Folau in the Highlanders jumper. And that's exactly what's happened easily. The most requested man to have joined the team. And what can you do? You cannot deny the fans what they want. And the Highlanders fans have decided they want to see Folau in that blue jumper. So that's what you've picked. You've got Folau. He's here for three years. And he is on a massive sum of 300000 So compare that to all those forwards we got for not much more but we've got Israel Folau who is going to spend quite some time in the team I know we have two real top shelf fullbacks but I'm sure well I know that Folau will spend some time on the wing and in the centers as well and give Ben Smith some time at fullback and those two are easily adaptable to play around the other way as well Ben Smith can go on the wings he can go to the centers Folau can maybe get a little bit of time at fullback but boy such a quality quality team we have for the Highlanders this year. So looking at the schedule here for 2016, we kick things off for four pre-season matches. Now let's check out who we got. We have the Lions first up at Ellis Park. We then kick off next with a friendly against the Chiefs. That is back at home at the Forsyth Bar Stadium. Then we travel up to Eden Park for our third pre-season friendly match against the Blues. And we wrap things up as far as preseason goes against the Brumbies back at home at Forsyth Bar. That'll be a good match. Of course, the Brumbies having that win there over the Highlanders, 28-12. You can see in previous encounters, the Brumbies will be another tough, tough matchup. It'll be a good preseason though. There's some really tough matches in there. So as we kick off the actual season, round one for the Highlanders, which is actually round two of the competition, we are travelling away to Wellington to face the Hurricanes at Westpac Stadium. Our second match sees us at home again against the Crusaders, staying at home against the Bulls, away to the Reds, away to the Chiefs, then two more home games in a row against the Blues and the Hurricanes, and then as we end April, we're back to the Brumbies, that is at Canberra Stadium. Heading into May, it's the Stormers at home, followed by the Rebels at home, and then the Crusaders at AMI Stadium. It's a good month as May. We really get some time at home at Forsyth Bar, rounding out the month here against the Western Force. We head into June with just one match that month, and that is at Eden Park against the Blues, a rematch of the preseason game that we have coming up. Into July, the last month of the competition, we wrap up our season with three matches in the month of July, up against the Lions, the Cheetahs, both away. So a bit of a South African tour to finish the season, which could be 
could be telling if we're struggling to get into that top six. That could be a real big, big part of our season right there. We wrap it up, the last match of the year, or the last round robin match at least, that is at home against the Chiefs. Well, we've had a real rivalry with the Chiefs in over the last few seasons, and this one will be no different, I have no doubt. And then of course after that, shall we make it preliminary finals, semi-finals and final if need be. That is the season of 2016, we have a few news announcements to look at, let's check them out now. So here we go with some daily scrum news here, and it is about Aaron Smith re-signing with the Highlanders for 2016 and beyond. Aaron Smith quite clearly pleased with his new contract. Two more years, and that would be, well, here's a great signing for us, really. And here it is, the big one. Waratahs fans were last night protesting the announcement that Israel Flower was leaving the club after signing a new three-year contract with the Highlanders. The fans are outraged, no question about that, and they are really having a good go there. So we have some selections for some international duties from the off-season, which doesn't affect us now, but here we go, here's our international honours, it's Elizabethan Hoggard for South Africa. Fikatala playing for Tonga, there's an upset to the apple cart. Once again, it's Ethan Hoggard going away. Tanaka in Japan, well, he's left the team since then. Gonover for Fiji also has left the team. Alexander has been playing for Australia in the off-season. As for New Zealand, Afoa Thorne, Ranger and Sonny Bill Williams have been playing for the All Blacks. There's some stats that rounded out 2015. Some top scorers, things like that from the previous season. But that is us for news items. Now all we have to look forward to is round one of the preseason. It is against the Lions, and it is the Highlanders travelling away to Alice Park in early season. Very early season trip to South Africa. Of course, if you've been watching down the bottom there, there's a lot of contract news going on. Most interestingly, I've seen that Henry Spate. Oh, here it comes now. Well, how's that for timing? Henry Spate is playing for the Crusaders. So a good catch for the Crusaders. They could be a tough side this year in the New Zealand Conference. But that is it for the squad announcement, new contracts, players in, players out, and what we have to play with for 2016. The preseason matches will be coming up very quickly. We'll get them done, build up our team, and get ready for round one of the competition. And that will be coming up very soon, so stick around for that. The Highlanders against the Lions. Preseason rugby for the Super 15. And the Highlanders' career, then is us, done and dusted. Contracts signed, deals done, and it's time to get into the rugby. So until then, for the Highlanders against the Lions, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know who you want to see in the team come round one of the competition, and we'll see how these players go in the preseason. So until then, take care.